You're listening to The Money Hour with your host, Tina Mitchell, and co-host, Keelan Harvey, on Alternative Talk AM 1150. Now, back to the show with local mortgage experts, Tina Mitchell and Keelan Harvey. Well, welcome back to The Money Hour at 1150 AM KKNW, the Saturday, August 10th show. I am your host, Tina Mitchell. And I'm your co-host, Keelan Harvey. We are local mortgage experts. We bring in studio each week the best of the best experts in the local market on everything regarding money. We're here to help you in today's economy. If you're hearing our show at a different time or day, you are listening to a rebroadcast, but we're here to connect you with the guests that we have in the show today. Please call the show at one 855 Four hundred eleven fifty, or online at themoneyhour.com. In studio right now, very excited to have a conversation with John Bedford of Staging and Design Network. First ever shared rental pool for home furnishings. John, welcome into studio. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Of course. And a little bit about John. Uh, John is the Director of Business Development of Staging and Design Network and has been with the company for just over uh, three years. He is brought on to help SDN enter the real estate community in the Puget Sound area. He loves working with realtors and helping them save time and money staging their listings. So, John, let's talk a little bit about how this whole staging and design network came about. Sure. Uh, So the company was started by Trisha Tomlinson, and so she was a broker uh, for many years, and it's your standard story of staging uh, where they say if you stage a home, sells typically for faster and for more uh, than the asking price. And so her neighbor had her house on the market, uh, had it been almost a year, and just hadn't sold. And so she asked Trisha to get involved, and so Trisha went in there, staged the home, and listed it for the same price, and it sold in less than two weeks for Mm -hmm. more than the asking price with multiple Mm -hmm. offers. And so as she saw success with that, she started staging um, all of her listings. And basically, when you start uh, building up inventory and trying to manage it, it is a logistical nightmare. Mm -hmm. And so Mm -hmm. uh, movers, trucks, the costs associated with it, storage expenses, and you're always trying to stay up to trends. So you have to constantly buy new inventory all the time. And so the last straw for her came when her husband came home one day and walked into the living room and asked, where is our sofa? (laughs) Where is our art? Why is it off the wall? And she said, "Uh, I had to use it for one of my listings. And he said, well, why are you using the sofa we live with as opposed to one of the 12 sofas in the garage that you have now taken over? And I don't even get to use my own garage anymore. And she said, you don't understand. It has to be that specific style of sofa for that specific style of home I was listing. So... He said, "Um, this is not working out, and so why don't you go get a storage unit and actually run this as a business? Uh And so um, she she tried that, and it was just, again, it's really challenging trying to manage that inventory. And she realized if I'm going through the challenges and headaches of doing this, Mm -hmm. there has to be other people. And so that's where she got the idea uh, for the first share rental pool where basically a bunch of new construction builders, real estate brokers, professional stagers can actually pull in their inventory yeah. and we manage it and they share and rent from each other. Yeah, I love it. And I, if you've been listening to the entire show, I mean, we're really talking about um, turning your your need and your passion into a product or service that everybody needs from our financial planner um, and really uh, strong women and uh, making it when people say that they can't and you need your finances for that. Um, you know, and Karen talked about uh, the need for services and where you're going to get the information that you need for that and you know and staging and design network same thing so I just I love that and I know uh, Trisha personally and have met her and she's been in studio and uh, shared quite a few times and it's really amazing it always almost 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 always brings me to tears when I hear her story because every person can do this when they when they know that there's a need out there go and provide that need. And the fact that nobody else had figured this out is just unbelievable. So a uh, little shout out there uh, for her and for Staging and Design Network. So let's talk about who Staging and Design Network works with. Sure. Uh, so in the very beginning, uh, it was uh, pretty much all professional stagers as they uh, pulled in their inventory. And so then three years ago, we entered into the real estate market. And so currently we work with a bunch of realtors, agents, uh, professional stagers, and new construction builders. Yeah. So you obviously you work with a bunch of agents. I heard a statistic, something like homes sell 80% faster that are staged. And I don't know if you've you ever been on Zillow and looked around at some of these homes that are absolutely like shocking that it's even hit the market. There's nothing mm-hmm. in it. It's all blah. So you guys are doing, a, I commend you, amazing service. 
What is there a specific type of agent you guys like working with? Or um, I mean, we'll work with uh, pretty much any type, but I would say the certain types that find the most value working with us are the agents that enjoy staging their listings, their own listings. Yeah. And so they have the eye for the design, and they just really enjoy that aspect of the uh, staging their listings. And then we also work with a lot of agents and brokers where not every listing requires a full stage. And mm-hmm. a lot of times they get stuck because they just need a few key pieces. And so mm-hmm. they might just need a sofa, just a table, just some uh, pieces of art, just to add some color. Mm-hmm. And professional stagers don't do that. I mean, they do a full stage. And yeah. so they have minimums, uh, they, they have tight deadlines and whatnot. So uh, we really cater to the brokers that kind of get stuck where they can't utilize their professional mm-hmm. uh, stager every single time. And they could just rent a few items since we're just a la carte. Yeah. So obviously what makes you unique is, again, you're the first ever shared rental pool for home furnishing. That's unique. What else makes uh, the company unique? Yeah. So and, and what's crazy is that um, it, 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 we can say we're the first and we're still able to say only yeah, uh, in the right, U.S. That's crazy. And, wow. and I'll kind of explain why that is uh, in a little bit here. But I would say there's two unique aspects of the business. And so first, with the share rental pool, um, it's pretty insane where there's literally nowhere in the U.S. that you can own furniture, put it into a warehouse, literally do nothing, and just get paid. Mm-hmm. So we actually pay whoever owns the furniture 30% of the rental income we collect. Yeah. And so the return on investment, it's, uh, it's pretty insane. Um, we have uh, some of our professional stagers. This is their second source of income where they're getting comma checks on a monthly basis mm. uh, by not doing anything. It, it's kind of mind blowing. And so um, the second unique aspect of the business is that uh, everything's done online. And so in today's day and age, uh, you know, with Amazon and whatnot, everything, again, is just done online. Uh, before I, a lot of my brokers knew about what we do um, in the Seattle market, a lot of them had to, during business hours, get in the car drive to a warehouse and try to scour through, pick out what they need for the bigger pieces of furniture. Mm-hmm. Then they have to get back in the car and then go somewhere else to source the small stuff because furniture rental companies don't rent the artwork, the small accessories and chotskis. And so yeah. they're sourcing multiple places. And so with us, um, instead of uh, doing their shopping during the day when they uh, really want to focus on selling homes and really their job of getting more clients, Mm -hmm. at the end of the day, they could come home, hop online, log into their account, browse their inventory in real life time, fill up the shopping cart and just check out and either do a will call pickup just for the couple items or have us do the delivery and install for the bigger orders. Yeah, and it was really exciting when that software piece came in. That was a huge thing that, you know, initially it didn't have and a, a second piece that came in to really pull that all together. So, yeah. That's so cool, John. Who can uh, who can put furniture into the shared pool? Is there any limitations or guidelines as of, of that? Uh, as of right now, there uh, there isn't. And so we have professional stagers that put in their inventory. We have uh, realtors and their brokers and agents. And then um, we even have uh, furniture manufacturers that are getting into the game. Wow. And wow. it's pretty insane because uh, the return on investment for them, it's, um, it, it's, it's incredible. Um, a manufacturer, furniture manufacturer can manufacture $100,000 worth of furniture and they can sell it. It's just a one-time sale, one-time profit, and maybe they'll make forty or fifty thousand on the hundred thousand dollars worth of furniture. Mm-hmm. Uh, we ran the data for the last few years, and that furniture manufacturer, and because their cost is so low, so I want to be very clear that the hundred thousand is their cost. Uh, but basically, within five years, um, that hundred thousand dollars worth of furniture it can actually be over seven hundred thousand dollars. Wow! And so now we have the furniture man- uh, manufacturers. Um, trying to get into the game. so yeah, yeah, that that is crazy. So Staging and Design Network considers itself a technology company first and not just a regular furniture rental company. So explain that. Yeah, so, um, and this was kind of like a weird thing for me to understand when I first started with the company because they said uh, we are a technology company. And so when I first started, um, I, I, I was like, I see a bunch of furniture. And so <laughs> I, I don't understand the technology. I don't, I don't understand. Explain more. Yeah. And so the reason being is because um, there's, the, there's never been software to support a business model like this in existence ever. Mm-hmm. And the reason being is we manage our inventory with a barcode scanning system. That's common. But what's not common is the commission accounting aspect of running the business. So, for example, uh, one of our trucks this morning could have left one of the bay doors with over 100 pieces of furniture. 
our system not only has to track where all that furniture is going, it also has to track and potentially pay up to 100 different people the 30% commission. Mm -hmm. So the accounting aspect of it has never existed. So we've actually built the software from scratch in-house from day one. Yeah. And so that's why we're actually considered a technology company first. So. That is so cool. That's a lot mm -hmm. of details that only mm -hmm. some a, a computer right. could keep track of. That is so neat. So let's talk about this REACH program that Staging the Design Network is involved in this year. Yes, super excited. So the National Association of Realtors, uh, they own a group called Second Century Ventures. And it's a venture capitalist group that will invest in startup companies um, in the real estate community. And seven years ago, they started a program called the REACH program. And basically with the REACH program, they sponsor eight startup tech companies that they feel will make a disruption in the industry. And so last year, they had over 1,100 applications, and we were chosen as one of the eight startup tech companies. Wow. The funny thing is we did not even apply. Um, they actually found out about what Trisha was doing, so they reached out to her and yeah. basically begged her to participate in this program. And it's been a game changer for us. I mean, you can imagine the networking opportunities that we've had with mm -hmm. the NAR. I mean, it's it's incredible um, the contacts we've made with yeah. that community. So wow. yeah, so so exciting to see uh, from this where it started and where it's where it's going. So where are you uh, currently located, John? So currently in the Seattle market, we have a warehouse in Everett, and we have one in Kirkland. And then um, I'm actually flying down uh, next week to Phoenix to uh, interview some sales reps down there. So we'll be opening up Phoenix. We get the keys in mm -hmm. September, opening up in October 1st. And then next year, we want to enter into three more markets, uh, most likely in the West Coast, California. And then um, the year after that, 12 new locations per year. And we're yeah. just going to see how big this thing can go. Wow. Wow. So you guys have already, I mean, from start to where you're at now, incredible growth. What's the future for uh, Staging and Design Network? Yeah, I think at this point it's really to hopefully maintain the word only um, shared rental pool uh, in the U.S. Mm -hmm. and just try to scale as fast as possible. And uh, and it's it's fun chaos right now in terms of just moving as fast as we can go. And we're growing uh, just revenue-wise, employee-wise. And so I think it's really exciting. And especially with the new REACH program and that opportunity, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's incredible. Every new market we're going to go into, uh, we're going to get tapped into that market uh, just a lot, a lot better and more efficient with the REACH program. And, and so uh, Trish Husbands has to be pretty darn proud of her, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, no, absolutely. For <laughs> he, sure. <laughs> and she has to be pretty glad that he was yelling about the fact that that furniture was uh, disappearing in the house. 100%. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> so, John, as we're wrapping up our time here with you today, uh, you've talked a little bit about the future of staging and design networks with new locations coming in and ide ideally in the future having 12 every single year. That is every month opening a new location. And um, from what I've seen and how fast the growth has been, I'm sure that you guys are going to reach that goal. What other things are on the horizon? Uh, I, I think what's awesome is we're also able to innovate um, cool new programs. And so besides the share rental pool, we're also trying to come up with another aspect of uh, just having a situation where people could put in their inventory into the share rental pool, but not have it shared. And so for example, like somebody could be paying a thousand dollars for public storage right now, but what that public storage facility cannot provide them is an online platform to actually view the inventory. So a lot of times they have public storage and they have to tell the movers and give them a list of like, hey, try to grab these nightstands that are kind of green and then grab this and grab this and then they oh. source somewhere else. So now we can have them hopefully pay less than their monthly storage expense, put their stuff into our warehouse, and then we have everything visible online. So now they can just click buttons on exactly what they need. Uh, one of the challenges sometimes is they'll go to storage unit. What they want is in the far back. They have yeah. to literally mm -hmm. empty out everything yeah. first, grab it. So we're uh, dancing around that. And then also um, in-home product sales is a huge opportunity because we have a lot of time potential buyers and the actual buyer, they see the furniture in their home and they're like, I want to buy this stuff. This stuff's already mm -hmm. here. And so we're coming up with a program where we actually, uh, the listing agent, we give them a little incentive of a couple, like two and a half percent, um, just for having the stuff for available for sale. And then we take care of them. And then the buyers are able to buy their stuff at great wholesale pricing. Yeah. Oh, my so gosh. Cool. It's so funny when you say that everything is a personal connection. Uh, my stepdaughter moved from Colorado. She lived with us while she was deciding where she was going to live. And she had her stuff in storage. And then she pulled a little bit out for her apartment. Then she decided to come home to save money for her new house. And so it's all of that. Her dad is back and forth to that 
dang storage and trying to figure out exactly what his daughter wants. So that's hilarious. John, thank you so much for coming in. I'm excited to have you come back and really excited as we move in the future to see all of these things come uh, together for the company. Thank you. And if you'd like to have n- know more information, uh, please call the show at one 855 400 or go online to themoneyr.com and we'll get you hooked up with Stacey and Design Network. This is your host, Tina Mitchell. And your co-host, Keelan Harvey. Your local mortgage expert signing off for the day. Thanks for being here. We'll be here same time, same place next weekend. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.